everybody, and welcome back to another episode of I Don't Mind. My name's Elena Fender, and I'll be your host. Today's guest, Caitlin Alexander. Hey! Finally, a real lesbian. Not quite. This is not my fault. When you were picking from the gender and sexuality dictionary, you could have picked lesbian. It's not like a lottery. You don't just, like, pick an identity. Well, no, because a lottery is random. Lottery's not a choice. <laughs> could you maybe, for this episode, just... Like, be a lesbian? That's not really how it works. How do you identify? I identify as queer. The other thing. Non-binary. Right. Because I'm non-binary, I'm not a woman who likes women, so I can't be a lesbian. Can I call you a queer? Y you may call me a queer. Are all queer people not women who like women? N no. Queer could be an umbrella term for, like, the LGBT community. LGBT? <laughs> LGBT. There's another one? Well, demisexual, you could put as a D if you wanted to. So you're demisexual. I'm not demisexual. Enjoying women as a woman. No. Some of the time. Demi Lovato is bi. And that's all we have for today's show. You identify as non-gender binary. Yes. Huh? Like, what does that mean? I'm glad that we understand each other. Okay, so that means that for me personally, I don't identify as a male or a female. I identify as somewhere in the middle, so like gender neutral. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. Okay. You don't identify as a man or a woman. Yeah. Do I call you he or she? Neither. You use they or them. You have multiple personality disorder. No. Instead of calling you they, could I just address you as you, you, and you? No, because I'm one person and I... But the multiple personalities, though. That's, that's different. Completely different. Is it? It, it is! So is that why your parents gave you a girl name and a boy name? Caitlin Alexander. Those, that's my first and last name. My understanding is that people are born gay. Were you also born with multiple personalities? <laughs> the Q in LGBTQ stands for queer. Yes. And the T in LGBTQ stands for they. No, it stands for uh, transgender. So can I call you TQ? Why would you do that? <laughs> or I could call you... QT. Did you just hit on me? No. As a non-gender binary person, mm -hmm. do you argue for an N to be added to LGBTQ? T T plus A Q plus I think N. You, okay, first of all, that's not the actual acronym. You don't need an N because non-binary falls under the transgender umbrella. Then TQ would be accurate representation. Am I wrong? Yes. Are others jealous that you get two letters? It's not like a point system, so I don't go in and like show my card and I have TQ so I get extra points that day. But you do have a card. No, that was a metaphor. Confirmed. How it works in my world is Our that- Our world, we live in the same world. As a straight, white, cisgendered person- Are you sure about all those? I'm higher in the hierarchy than most other people. Well, I mean like you're privileged because you're white and cisgendered, so yeah, that privilege does exist. So and I'm better. No! When you date a woman, you're yeah. a lesbian. And when you date a man, you're straight? Okay, well, I don't date men because- Queer equals bi. <clears throat> I've been oh, over no. this in previous episodes. No, that's- that's wrong. When two they's date, do they become them? Okay, well, the proper phrasing would be when two non-binary people date. Um, They're lesbians. Queer. Yes. Bisexual. How, you could be non-binary and bisexual. Demisexual. You're just listing <laughs> sexualities. If I was dating another non-binary person, I couldn't call them my girlfriend or my boyfriend because they Don't aren't. enter into relationships no. and are afraid of commitment. Confirmed. I would call my partner a date mate. My partner calls me a date mate. Date mate? Date mate. Like an escort? No. Is there an app for that? <clears throat> I wish. So what do you do when you have to like get a passport or open a bank account or something where it's like male, female? Do you just scribble it out? F the system? I'm a queer rebel? No, that's illegal. Your identity is illegal? <laughs> I'm not a criminal for existing, if that's what you're asking. Imagine if there was no female option, it was just male and other. Can't, doesn't exist. Well, that's what it's like for me. Let's go into the lightning round! Great! This lightning round, I'm gonna name things, and you gotta tell me whether they're for boys or for girls. Makeup! Either. Suits! Either. Shaving! Either. Penises! A trans woman can still have a penis. She's still a woman. That's all the questions that I have for you today, Caitlin Alexander. Thank them for being here in the comments you did down it. below. I'm proud of you. And you can call them Caitlin or Alexander. No. Nope. Because there's more than one. No, you call just Caitlin. Or you can say, hey, you, you. No other. You. No. Hey, them. No. Hey, TQ. Again. Hey, cutie. 
Well, if you want my number, yeah. That's all for this episode of I Don't Buy It. If you guys enjoy these episodes and you want more interviews like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Bye. Or queer. They're interchangeable. Mm. <coughs> okay, first of all, that's not the actual <laughs> acronym. Okay, first of all, that's not the actual acronym. <laughs> I literally can't look at you. Okay. Why do you think I'm like death staring them down the lens? Okay. Woo! <laughs>